holidays are right around the corner and we always think about chestnuts because of that great famous carol. But we're in Hood River at Nella Chestnut Farm with Bernardo. And Bernardo, it's really a cool time to come this time of year because it's chestnut harvest this time. Yes, it is. It's um, just right around the end of the harvest. Uh, things were a little bit late this year. Yeah, like everything else. Mm -hmm. But it's the perfect time to come out and uh, being careful not to prick your fingers, <laughs> pick up some chestnuts. Well, really, if you come out, you have to bring gloves because you just don't pick these out of the trees. How do you harvest them? Um, they fall to the ground. Uh, a lot of times it'll be just the chestnut mm -hmm. like that, but sometimes it'll be inside the prickly thing, and then you have to step on it and separate it from the uh, uh, prickly thing and just pick it up. Ah, and so, you know, I know that these are edible and they're delicious, but, you know, I've also seen some of these kind of trees in my neighborhood. Are they the same? Um, the trees in your neighborhood are probably uh, horse chestnut trees, which the chestnuts are really big, mm -hmm. but if you eat them, you're probably going to get a, um, an awful taste in your mouth. Okay, so stick with these, which are called colossal, right? Yes. And so are the trees hard to take care of? They're beautiful trees here. I just love them. Um, when they're big, they're pretty easy to take care of, uh, just some water. Um, when they're small, they're harder to get started. Uh, they, they don't like it if it's too wet or too dry. And um, animals seem to like to eat the roots ah. and the small branches. <laughs> so really, you always have to watch for deer or any other kind of um, animals. It's like anything else in your garden. Yeah, anything else, yeah. Well, it's really a lovely place to come out to. You can go to the Fruit Loop and then also come out and get chestnuts. But I think the best part of it is roasting them. So you're really going to show us how to prepare them that we can enjoy them at our own home. Yep, on, a, on an open fire is the best way to do them. Uh, and we can talk about that later. Yeah, let's go over and see. I see you got the fire going. Now, Bernardo, I see that you're all ready to roast these in this great wok. So what do we have to do? Do we just kind of put them in the pan and then roast them or something else have to happen? Um, well, Judy, you know, we have to uh, put a cut oh, in the okay. chestnut so that otherwise it'll explode when you're cooking it. And if you make a little X as it's cooking, it gives you uh, a good start to um, peel from. Okay, that makes it easier in the long run. Yeah. So now we have quite a bit in there, and we're going to go over to your beautiful fire pit. So let's bring these over. This is really nice. Wish I had one in my house. But you can also do this in the oven, can't you? Yes, you can. Um, it's actually easier on, in the oven. Just place them on a cookie sheet, uh, 375. The small ones will only take around a half an hour, but some of the bigger ones might take almost an hour to do. All right, well, we're going to come up in a couple minutes and then taste these. They'll be all ready. All right. Bernardo, it's about 20 minutes and they're probably finished now. Yeah, we, we should take them off so that they don't get burned. Okay, not after all that work. We don't want them to get burned. Mm -hmm. Now, when we put them in, they were this shiny, dark brown, and now they're kind of black and darker brown. And so that's really how you want them to look when you cook over a fire. Yeah, the one thing about cooking them over a fire the uh, fire will burn the shell a little bit mm -hmm. and it'll make it that much more easier to peel. Oh, good, okay. Um, you have some samples here. Yeah, this one, it's, uh, it's peeled. Um, it's done, but I would rather have it a little more well done. This one, one, as you can see, the, uh, the shell got burnt a little bit, but inside it's nice and well done. And it's a little, uh, a little darker brown than, uh, than the other one. A little more flavorful. Well, we've been tasting them while we've been cooking them, and they really are nice. Now, you really have a lot of things going on, and especially this weekend. What's going on this weekend? Um, we have basically what we've been doing. Oh, fun. <laughs> uh, roasting chestnuts, and um, we will have some wine here to, to go with the chestnuts. And uh, it's a lot of fun just sitting, sitting around a fire and talking. Well, it's kind of like an Italian thing to do. You have to have wine and chestnuts. And, and I like them just roasted like this. Our family is Italian. We always have them at the holiday time. And there's a lot of different recipes you could do, too, I'm sure. Yeah, there are um, tons of recipes online, different uh, soups or stuffings, um, desserts you can make with chestnuts. 
Yeah, yeah. many different cultures have them. Uh, Asian people, French people, Italian people. Yep. So really, so many people enjoy them. And it's so nice that you're just right in Hood River for us to be able to come by and pick them up and enjoy a glass of wine and some talk with friends. Yeah, yeah, I hope... Uh it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good event. Yeah, well, thank you so much for having us out here. If you have any other questions, you can go to Gardentime.tv, and we'll click you over to their website, and you can see all the recipes, how to roast them, and how to order them so that your family can enjoy them, too. Well, thank you so much. Thanks, Jenny.